Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I've got for you three easy, healthy, full recipe ideas. So let's get started with the sweet potato and butternut squash soup. So you will need one vegetable stock cube, one chopped onion, one clove of garlic, one chopped butternut squash, one large sweet potato and parsley and pumpkin seeds to garnish. So first off, take your stock cube and break that up into pieces and pop it in the pan. Next, pop in your chopped onion, garlic, butternut squash, or you can also use pumpkin, and your sweet potato. Fill the pan up with boiling water, and then you're gonna start to boil all your vegetables for around 20 minutes or until all the vegetables have softened. So once that's cooked, you're going to let it cool down completely before blending it. So once that's cooled, pop it all in the blender and blend it up until it becomes a smooth, creamy texture. Then you can just reheat it in the pan and serve. And then just to garnish, I've just got some parsley and some pumpkin seeds. So next onto the pumpkin and almond parfait. You will need pumpkin puree, Greek yogurt, almond biscuits, agave nectar, cinnamon, and some blackberries for garnish. So first off, take your almond biscuits. This is your little treat in this dessert. And you're gonna pop them in a bag and crush them all up. So I'm just using a wooden spoon to do this. Next, I've got these cute little jars that I'm gonna build my parfait in. So first of all, I'm putting a thin layer of pumpkin puree, then a layer of Greek yogurt, just a thin layer. Next, I'm putting in the agave nectar, which is a natural sweetener and tastes delicious. And then I'm spooning in my almond biscuit, just a small layer of this. Next, I'm taking another layer of the pumpkin puree and then topping it off with the Greek yogurt, which is really high in protein. So to finish this off, you're gonna finish off with the agave again, and then a sprinkle of cinnamon, a tiny bit of almond biscuits, and then a blackberry to garnish. So next you're gonna pop your desserts in the fridge to chill and to let all the flavors absorb together. So last but not least, onto the vanilla and caramel chai tea. So you will need vanilla chai tea or just chai tea, caramel flavored syrup, almond milk, spray cream, and some cinnamon and vanilla powder. So first off, you're gonna boil your kettle. And then you're gonna pop in two teaspoons of the caramel flavor, or you can use any flavor if you're just using plain chai tea. So pop in your tea bag. And then you're gonna pour in the hot water to about three quarters full. Next, top off your tea with some almond milk. Then you're gonna let your tea bag brew for however long, depending on how strong or weak you like your tea. So mix that all together so you've got the caramel flavor. And then you're gonna spray a little bit, which is your little treat of spray cream on top. And this creates a little creamer, or alternatively, you can use coconut cream. And then you're gonna finish off with some cinnamon and vanilla sprinkles over the top. And this makes a gorgeous sweet tea if you have a sweet tooth like me. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope this inspires you to get cooking for full. 
Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration and also check out my two previous videos by clicking on the links on the right and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys, bye!